The Bills went into this offseason more than $40 million over the cap. That meant hard decisions. And today, multiple longtime fan favorites are gone. Sports director Thad Brown joins us now with the details on what must have been hard decisions, Thad. Adam, to say the least, there were multiple players today that I'm sure fans will be surprised are not coming back. The upside is for the Bills, they did save nearly $40 million in cap space, but that saving came with a heavy cost. Among the six veterans released, Trey White, Jordan Poyer and Mitch Morse. Poyer and Morse are moves the team has already made official. White has missed 30 games of the last three seasons with multiple major leg injuries. The former All-Pro will save Buffalo over $10 million against the cap. Poyer is coming off an injury plague 2022. He was solid last year. However, his release will save Buffalo $5.7 million against the cap. And with Micah Hyde potentially retiring, Buffalo might need two new safeties next season. Morse was maybe the biggest surprise. He wanted to be back, said so, has even taken a pay cut in the past before to do that. The Bills instead today opted for saving his $8.5 million against the cap. Also cut today, receiver Deontay Hardy, special teamer Saran Neal. The Bills also made official the Naheem Hines release. In addition, guard David Edwards is re-signed. He's staying on a two-year deal, as is punter Matt Hawk. The team reportedly restructured the contract of Rasul Douglas. He will likely be the replacement for wife. And finally, the belief is Connor McGovern will move from guard to center this season, replacing Morse. The Bills this year skipped the calm, and they went right to the storm. We'll have more on this coming up at 6.